we know that the mind affects the body and that the body affects the mind. Uh, sometimes though we forget that both of those things have both physical pieces and mental emotional pieces. And so we have thoughts and feelings and we have our brain and we have neurochemistry and we have our perception and our feelings in our body and we have physiology and our hormones. Helix Medical is really looking to ensure we have a full treatment plan for that physical component of both the brain and the body and that we are offering clients uh, a full well-rounded treatment plan that um, assesses both components of the mind-body connection. When we're thinking about thoughts and feelings, those have physical and chemical infrastructure and building blocks. And so I like to think about uh, the therapist as really placing those building blocks down into proper neurological patterns and healthy mental processes, uh, which is wonderful uh, and beautiful work, but it's a little bit of an uphill battle if those physical building blocks don't exist. And so Helix Medical is really an attempt to ensure that our clients have all of the physical pieces to facilitate the mental and emotional work that they're doing. We've broken our program down into three types of assessments. Our first assessment is really blood work. Uh, it's looking at organ function, hormone uh, status, nutrient status, and that is really looking at what building blocks do you have, which is a fantastic starting point. And then the second assessment is a metabolic assessment, and that looks a little bit more at functioning and utilization. So not just what building blocks you have, but how are you using them? Are you able to make the neurotransmitters that you need, um, and are you able Able to metabolize hormones properly? Are the enzymes working properly? Are you detoxing the things that you don't need properly? And then the third assessment that we do is a genetic screening. And that genetic screening looks more at inherent potential. And on a mental health realm, that can be so, so useful. Things like, what is your addiction potential? Are you someone who just cuts back from drinking? Or are you the type of personality where it's going to be very, very hard to set limits on yourself? How likely you are to internalize uh, really traumatic events or emotional memories and how your amygdala is likely to wire those things, which can be really amazing at directing treatment and understanding how someone is more likely to to, to need to process things. The benefits of treating the physical foundations of mental health are that by really stabilizing the system, uh, you will create uh, better treatment outcomes. So a lot of clinical studies uh, have found that when we do treat both the physical and the mental and emotional components, the treatment outcomes are faster and longer lasting by ensuring that clients do have all of the physical components to do the mental and emotional work, it really creates uh, and expands the window of tolerance that clients have for those, those, both those low and those high emotions. 